Hi everyone, today we're going to make lime loaf cake. So I just zested two limes. I use this part right here. It works just fine if you can have a zester. We have our sifted flour. Add your lime zest. Two teaspoons of baking powder. 2 teaspoons of baking soda, a teaspoon of salt, one and a half cup of sugar. Mix that all up and set aside. Now we are going to crack in six eggs. Two tablespoons of lime juice, a cup of vegetable oil, whole milk, mix well until everything is combined. A lot of people might think of oh, this cake might have a sour taste because lime is sour don't worry it's not going to have a sour taste at all it's a really good cake now you're just going to combine the wet ingredients and the dry ingredients together you can do this with a stand mixer or a hand mixer but i felt like exercising my hands today so let's just use a mix Remember not to over mix your butter because if you do, you're going to kill all the air bubbles and you'll have a really dense cake. Get a loaf pan, line it with baking paper or just butter it up and flour if you don't have a baking paper. Do this to remove excess air bubbles. Bake at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. For the glaze, you need a cup of powdered sugar, two teaspoons of whole milk, and a tablespoon of lime juice. While your cake is baking, do not open the oven to check up on it because letting air into the oven makes the cake deflate. This is what your cake should look like with that beautiful crack on top. You just know it's going to be amazing. So let our cake cool for a while before adding the glaze. The glaze is totally optional if you don't want it, but it tastes better with the glaze. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on my post notifications. Bye!